the overall goal of this procedure is to improve the evaluation of retinal prosthesis safety. This is accomplished by first labeling the surface of an optimally fixed enucleated eye with tissue dyes to indicate the position of an implanted electrode. In the second step, the electrode array is removed and the eye tissue is dissected into strips. Next, the strips are stabilized in agar and then embedded in paraffin. In the final step, the marked areas of interest are sectioned and collected on slides for staining. Ultimately, the health of the implanted areas adjacent to each electrode can be evaluated by Brightfield and immunofluorescence microscopy. The main advantage of this technique is that fixation-related artifact and delamination can be minimized, while electrode-adjacent tissue regions can be accurately tracked in large samples. It can also be used in evaluating the safety of new implants for other eye diseases. Generally, individuals new to this method will find it challenging because a retina is prone to delamination and a high level of dexterity is required for handling the samples. Visual demonstration of this method is important because marking and handling the fragile tissue is difficult to learn. Prior to this study, after implantation with a suprachoroidal electrode array, the eyes were previously processed using a non-optimal technique. As indicated by the star, this first image shows a representative orthogonal section through the electrode array cavity. Note that the retina is detached from the outer eye tissue. This is particularly evident beneath the implanted...